Good afternoon. It is 12.02 p.m. on October the 9th, 2019. On October the 15th or the 14th of 2010, the Baltimore City Police Department came in my house and they put guns to my head. All right. Baltimore City Police Department. I got an Internal Affairs Division uh, report that they never took uh, action on. All right. This is my whistleblower submission. All right. To the city of Baltimore. To Yvonne Brooks. It's all about Scott Schellenberger. All right. It's about Scott Schellenberger. I just came from City Hall. I got this from City Hall. Anybody ever seen the movie Superfly? Remember when Superfly wanted to get out the game? He gave that police officer that envelope, told that police officer, if anything happened to me, somebody going to jail. Somebody going to jail if anything happened to me. This is a whistleblower submission. The same thing that's right here. Brandon Scott had it. Yitzi had it. Leon Pinkett had it. Y'all had it. Y'all had it. See this? Like last night when y'all had that town hall shit at Fox 45 at Compton University, that was bullshit. All right. He was there. Yeah, I'm a black Republican and he know all about my work. All right. I give him information. I work for Michael Steele. All right. I raised money for Michael Steele, $1,500 he owed me. He didn't pay me, he owed me. But like I said, I wanna audit. The Rue was up on stage last night talking about audit, 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 audit. No, 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 that's my shit. The Rue butt off my shit. I told y'all to audit them 10 years ago. You feel me? Everything that the Rue is recycled and y'all threw the Rue up on the butt. Y'all threw him on stage last night cause y'all wanna brown. Y'all just, it's on some bullshit. So we are gonna finish this. So what's the blower's application? All right. And we're going to go page by page. I was kidnapped by the state of Illinois on 12 24 2007 because I came to file a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit about the war on drugs. Sam Cunningham got it. Mayor Moxley got it. Mayor Hyde got it. Mayor Sabanjan got it. And the Lake County Council got it. The Lake County Board got it. Angelo Kyle got it. Mary Washington got it. All y'all got this. Y'all knew I was making a movie and a documentary about y'all. Val King will tell y'all about it, but tell y'all about it. It's John Hopkins University, Community Affairs. You feel me? That's John Hopkins University. Because when I started this, I started this with John Hopkins University, and it's one of the first videos I made. It was about the prison industry and mass incarceration. I came here straight out the penitentiary. We're talking about policing and Capitol Police. Because y'all's Capitol Police keep putting their hands on me. Y'all keep threatening me wherever I go. Dog, when I got this camera, that's my gun. That's my protection. When I got this camera, it got all the evidence that I need on it. You feel me? You see that? Marilyn Mosby, state's attorney. Right there. Let's see what it say. That's the real jailhouse diary submitted to Marilyn Mosby. You feel me? 2016 and Mosby done had this since 2014. Like I said, I'm a whistleblower. That's Jill P. Carter. Look at Senate Bill 374. Jill P. Carter wrote that. That means that Marilyn Mosby supposed to let me access the grand jury. See that? Handle your business. Cause like I said, this is a whistleblower's application. And I wanna testify in front of the House Judiciary Committee. 
See, because Congressman Cummings is part of the Oversight Committee, and the Oversight Committee, their grand jury charges the prison industry. I'm a whistleblower on the prison industry, and that's part of Congressman Cummings' job. That's your job, the prison industry. Mm. That's Mark Christian's thing. That's Christian's thing. This is Leon Pinkett. He said he that's Leon Pinkett's office, community engagement. That's Leon Pinkett. He was at the event last night. The only councilman that showed up, all right? Council President's office. That's the evidence. On February the 2nd, 2011, my mother died from cancer, Corrine Davis. On February the 2nd, 2011, at 8.30 a.m., I went to the city solicitor's office. George Nielsen. I went to Commissioner Belfield's office. I went to Mayor Stephanie Rawlins Blake office. And I applied for Martin Luther King's job. I applied for his job. All right. So we're gonna show you this whistleblower's application. I applied for his job, and that's what made y'all mad. That job been vacant for like 50 years. And Martin Luther King wouldn't accept police brutality, he wouldn't accept the poverty, he wouldn't accept none of that. So since we got these self-serving demigods, I threw my hat in the ring. It's the art of getting money. Martin Luther King wouldn't go for this. So I did what he did. State of Maryland versus Dwayne Davis. I took you to court. I took you to court here and beat you. And over here is where you put guns to my head. You sent police in my house and threatened my life. But just like Martin, I ain't scared of death. I know what my promise tomorrow is. I've been on the downside of my mountain, baby. I've been to the mountaintop. I'm on the, I'm on the downside. You feel me? It's my application for his job. Feel me? That's the application. Honorably discharged veteran. I'm applying for his job and I'm giving you a whistleblower's application. That's my storm falls road. It's all about Governor O'Malley. Movie about his machine. Movie about Governor Hogan and Governor O'Malley. Feel me? A movie about Governor Hogan and Governor O'Malley. I work for 85% of the richest people in the state. I don't sell dope no more. I don't sell drugs no more. I sell food. I feed you. And I fed the Ravens. I fed the Oreos. You feel me? I fed Ozzie Newsom. And I've been doing it a long time. Did your meet and greet. You said if I gave you evidence, well, I'm giving you evidence. I was kidnapped by the state of Maryland and Illinois because I was making a documentary about y'all's politics. It's making a documentary about Mayor Pugh and the money behind y'all's machine. Don't hate the play, I hate the game. All right. See that? Nicole Mundo, director. Now, like I said, I'm a, I'm a whistleblower, and I'm a whistleblower on the courts. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. And this is uh, Peter Francott, and this is the case right here. See that? Paul Weinblatt. Peter Francott, I need a federal and state audit so I can go uh, back into business. I need my money. Y'all out. Y'all took $2.6 million from me. I'm out lost wages, defamation of character, <clears throat> liable statements. So I'm going to David Irwin. 
and we're going to transcribe everything that I'm doing. We're going to transcribe this. Edward Irwin got a, he might, he knew about this when I was doing this. So he's the inside man. Like I said, we're going to straighten out the law in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. Baltimore, rewired. Right here. We're going to rewire you. I'm going to break down your prison industry. Parole and probation. You feel me? Spring Grove. I want the whole hour and 40 minutes. I want the whole interview played. I want the entire tape played to the grand jury. Not only do I want all that played to the grand jury, because everything you see over here is right here. Scott Schellenberger, Moxley, state prosecutor, President Trump. I'm a whistleblower, so I'm blowing the whistle publicly. Social media for social change, that's how we're going to do that thing. Because if I do it in the dark, y'all will end up killing me. See, this is a blueprint. Something happened to me. It's like Superfly. Something happened to me. We know who's responsible. I'm blowing the whistle on the Democratic Party and your money. I asked for a federal audit. The rule was talking about audit. Dog, I've been asking for an audit since 2008. The rule biting off my shit. The rule was bullshit. The rule brung uh, the Ray McKenzie here. And when I see the rule, I'm going to treat him too. See that? Jane Miller, Governor Hogan, 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 Hogan. See the dates? 17, 19, 14. Hogan been knowing about this since the beginning. See the dates. Hugh Frost. That's the Democratic Party. That's how you protect it. Frost is protecting Pew. You feel me? Because you got to have an audit. See how long Frost been having it? And Frost had this since 2014 at the NAACP candidacy forum. Me, John Frost. Bilal Mosby, her husband, Nick Mosby, uh, David Wiggins, Brian Bath. We was all in the same room, and I gave y'all this information. I gave y'all a letter from President Obama asking for an investigation into my kidnapping in Illinois. I wasn't sure when I did this. I wasn't sure. All right, see that complaint does not have standings in the assets because I'm not a lawyer. All right. Charter was forfeited in 2010, but y'all broke the law in 2008. You feel me? And brother insurance is, 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 is on the hook for that. All right. There you go. I'm going to show you the role that y'all play in this. And this is, like I said, accessing the grand jury. Marilyn Mosby. Judge Turnbull, Judge Souter, Judge Janae. Baltimore County Judge Holland, retired Justice Bell. See that? Zirkin, Gladden, Moon, GOP Carter, Congressman, Dutch Rupersberger, Greg Bernstein. All right. In closing, I respectfully, res you never responded to that. That's your job as a state's attorney. I'm blowing the whistle on the courts because that's where you make your money at. That's where you cash your cow at. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and we the cash crop. You get $40,000, it's $47,000 a year to incarcerate me, but it only costs you $12,000 a year to educate me. You do the math. We move more in jail and we move worth more dead than we is educated. But like I said, this is my whistleblower's application. 
See that? Black Caucus. See Ed Norris? See the date? So that thing that y'all had at Fox 45 last night was bullshit. I gave you this shit back 10 years ago, y'all had this shit. Y'all had this shit 10 years ago. Ed Norris. See that? Kingsley, Larry Lezer from CNN, House of Delegates, Black Caucus. See that? Original message. Don't get this shit twisted. I'll be in Annapolis on Monday. Yeah. I keep documents. I was an administrative assistant to the engineering officer on the USS Mississippi in 1977 during Iran-Contra. I know longitude and latitude. All you know is North Avenue. Figure that one out. That's the ACLU. Two thousand fourteen. If the ACLU had this in two thousand fourteen, and then you had this meeting in City Hall with Tawanda Jones a minute ago, you know what I'm saying? You had this meeting with Tawanda Jones two weeks ago at the gag order, and you had this shit in 2014. You had this shit in 2008 when I started this. You had this in 2006, and I'm going to pull the ACLU's card. Y'all recycling y'all's bullshit, too, and y'all doing this for the love of money. And I'm going to show you. You feel me? You doing this for money. You raise money behind causes and you don't put them money back in the communities that it is facts. All right. See the date? 2019, July. See who got it? President Trump. President Trump. See, I don't want nobody left out the loop. This is a whistleblowers act. This long for y'all jammed President Trump up with the whistleblowers. I gave you the whistleblowers act. Right there, Schellenberger and 52 members of the Democratic Party in Maryland. I got 52 DVDs, man. 13 times 4 is 52. We're going to play 52 pickup. We're going to pick up your careers. Because when I started this, I told Chief Justice Roberts what I was going to do. See that? That's Chief Justice Roberts. That's my store. Davis versus Illinois. That's the art of getting money. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. It was about the war on drugs. David Irwin. David Irwin. Real simple. Money count itself. When I talk about the NAACP, that's the NAACP. And we talking about what? Federal prisons. See that? So Kwase and Fume, where you at? Where you at, Kwase? See that? Office of the General Counsel. So where is you at for the standing up of the black people in the war on drugs? Y'all on that bullshit, too, because y'all left me in jail as well. But see, I ain't that dumb black man. I'm pretty damn smart. That's Washington, D.C., 2014, during Brown Oldman campaign. See that? That's my ID number. That's my Department of Justice ID number, so don't put your hands on me. I'm a whistleblower. I got an ID number now. I'm an honorably discharged veteran of the United States Navy. I'm an honorably discharged veteran of the United States Navy. See that? Peter J. Heckman, 79. You feel me? During Iran Contra, they taught me how to do what I do, and I do it well. I do it very well. I keep records, I keep documents. I do my job. My job was administrative assistant to the engineering officer. 
and my records were drug peddling, loan sharking, and gambling. Don't ask, don't tell, ain't just for gays in the military. I got an honorable discharge because I was good at what I do. I ran for office. I ain't just running my mouth. Feel me? I ran for office because I wanted to expose the corruption and racism in the offices. But y'all had us knocked out the race. So I changed my voice and I changed my opinion. And I made that movie about Governor Hogan and Rutherford. And I gave him my information, Karen Levy, that case number that ties y'all together. I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? Because see, I started this shit in 2006. That's Governor O'Malley. Get shorty. You got more shorty than you can stand. Get shorty. Get it right. Governor O'Malley approved this. It was against the gangs, the guns, and the violence. It was about the murder of our kids. That's my son. See it? Business development, crime and policing issues, job development. I got skin in the game. I got blood on the block. Understand how vested my interest is in this fight. This is the Shorty Organization, self-help organization for the redevelopment and re-education of the young. It's not a black program, it's just a program. You feel me? Economic development, political, medical, environmental. And I do that program freely and duly out of my pocket for the last 20 years. My program works. My program works. My program works. I give you careers, not jobs. And everything on here I've done for the last, even when I've been homeless, I've been doing all of this. All of this. We got a garden up in Cockeysville. We got a garden over by Jack Young's sister house. Like I said, I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman. You caught, you kidnapped a business owner. You stole property from a business owner. And I was insured. I was insured. Ain't nobody's name on that but me. I was insured against terrorism and acts of terrorism. And you charged me with terrorism. That's an act of terrorism. You got to pay off my policy. You got to pay off my policy. Because, see, I was insured. And President Obama asked for an investigation because that's me. That's me. I was kidnapped by the state of Illinois and charged with terrorism. I didn't do it. Privacy Act. Whistleblower concerning the Illinois prison industries, federal investigation of Lake County, public defender John Bailey. See the date? Mark Kirk. President Obama asked for an investigation. Mark Kirk ain't do nothing about it. And it's about the inmates in the Lake County jail. You feel me? It's about the inmates in the Lake County Jail. Y'all wonder how I got this information smuggled out of the jail? It wasn't hard. See that? Patrick Fitzgerald, constitutional violations, plea bargains are the order of the day. They are inmates within the facility, all right? Y'all got me in jail because I was organizing. I was organizing while I was in jail. Respectfully submitted. And I had them sign off on it. So you're going to have to reverse and remand all these cases. Here goes my legal notice, bro. Legal notice. Circuit Court of Baltimore, Circuit Court of Illinois. 
in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. All right. Can you read case number? Can you read? State Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. I got the right to defend myself. I am a precedent setting case. So don't never tell me that I don't know the law. Don't never tell me I don't know the law. I know I got a right to access the grand jury to present evidence to, to go against the evidence that you present against me. I'm a precedent setting case. And I spoke to lawyers, I spoke to politicians and I spoke to you. Dutch Rupersberger, Senator Cardins, Durbin, Attorney General. That's my ID number, my IG number, 08, that's 2008. We're making a documentary. See the date? It's an ex-felon program, a re-entry program. And like I said, the ACLU, yeah, you know about it too. Ms. Leber Gion, all right, 135 inmates. Y'all left 135 inmates in jail. And y'all been letting this go on since 2007. That means that everything that Waller, Chief Bridges, Boris, all these judges that I named, you're going to have to turn the courts inside out. I'm a whistleblower. And I blew the whistle a long time ago. 2009, Dutch Rufusberger, Barbara Mikulski. See that? See that? Kathleen Pugh knew about it too. I blew the whistle a long time ago. Josh Davison, North Chicago. You see these names? Mike Shu, MSNBC. Told you I'm good at what I do. I am very good at what I do. See the date? It's a whistleblower. Judge Boris, care of Governor O'Malley. See that? Let's read. Let's play like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I hold that you read it. See that middle part right here? Chicago FBI, you see that? Grand jury, letters designed, 238 videos. Can you see me now? Can you hear me now? Because if you can't hear me, you know, we can arrange this. You know what I'm saying? Because that's notarized, notarized by the Carroll County, Maryland, expires in 2013, but it was done in 2010. Long for y'all lock me up. Y'all had this. Y'all had this. Schellenberger had this. Schellenberger had this. Full federal investigation. You had this. The court ordered my property to be returned in 2011. That's a court order to have my property returned. The property that was stolen was this. The entire contents of the defendant's vehicle. All right. You reading this? That's a court order to have my property returned. My property wouldn't return. The law said, you stole my property, destroyed my property. You got to compensate me for my losses. The contents of that vehicle was worth $130 million. I had 13 movies at $10 million a movie. I had movie releases, contracts, and storyboards. I had 13 storyboards. One was called Portraits of a Letter. It was about Kai Jackson, Fox 45, WJZ, 
It was about the media and the role the media plays in misinformation. And I was covered under the, like I said, I'm a businessman. I'm gonna handle my business, man. That's Peter Francott. That's the controller and Brian Frost, the attorney general. You feel me? $160,000 unreported. 1997 to 2007, Paul Weinblatt, State of Maryland, grand jury, state and, yeah, we're going to have a lot of court going on because y'all took a lot of money from me. And it's notarized. It's notarized. You reading that? Ethical obligation to return my property. Director of the IRS. Grand jury court records. Like I said, I'm a whistleblower. And that's my ID number. That's my ID number. See, they received this. State's attorney's office. Oh, let me do it like this. Received in the state's attorney's office. 2014. That means that Marilyn Mosby got this in 2014. You feel me? Marilyn Mosby got this in 2014. That's my ID number. So I don't know what y'all gonna do, but y'all can't keep shielding that corruption. And Mosby can't keep stealing my products. That's Alex Butler. All right, my whistleblower application. Gail King got this. Johnny Olesky. Federal investigation. Johnny Oleski got this, and Chief Hyatt and Johnny Oleski got this. My paperwork in order. See the date? Will he request to testify in front of the House Judiciary Committee? See the date? See that person? Elijah Cummins. Elijah Cummins. Elijah Cummins. And to conclude all of this so we don't have no misunderstandings, it's Baltimore rewired. Mass incarceration in your prison industry fully exposed. Ties Illinois and Maryland together. You read that. So don't let nothing happen to me. Because just like Superfly, this is my yellow envelope. This is what's going to keep me alive. Y'all locked me up because I applied for his job. I'm sending this shit to Tyler Perry. Yeah, Baltimore, rewired. The keeper of the dreams. So in that conclusion, Kai Jackson, Mary Mubala, Fox 45, I see you out in the streets. I'm shutting y'all down. Y'all don't got no, no validity. Y'all don't deserve to be in the streets. And we're going to put this all on film. All of it's going to be on film. So whistleblower's application. I'm going to submit this to Russia, China, Korea, whoever want to see. We're going to show the world what being black in Baltimore is. Baltimore, rewired. I control all of this. I'm the subject of the investigation. And I got shorty over my shoulder, just like Jimmy the Cricket. John Hopkins University, Towson University, Baltimore Block, West Wednesdays, Keith Davis, positive community activists, social justice for social change. Mic check. It's about that time.